So I just arrived in Poland and I'm with Kate and we're on our way to our hotel this morning to meet Nick and Chris. We're literally dragging our rolly suitcases down the bumpy cobblestone sidewalks of Warsaw and suddenly we're in the middle of this mob of red flags and handwritten signs. We can barely get our luggage through the throngs of people holding all those signs, but then we start reading them and we're like, oh, it's our first climate change protest. I might have heard that Poland is like, you know, struggling with a lot of coal and very little legislation that makes it easy for people, or that even makes it possible for people to produce their own energy. Uh, so we think that's one of the best first steps to get things moving here. The more people we talked to, the more it started to sound like they were tired of the way things have been going at these climate change meetings. There were lots of opinions about the possible solutions to the energy question, but everyone agreed that we need to start agreeing on something. Bringing all countries together on one table doesn't really work. Okay, so, so there must be a new idea that must come up at some point, but I don't have the conclusion. If I would have one, I would maybe be a politician or I'll go to economics, I don't know. Japan and the Polish government show no signs of trying to change. I, I feel really, really sorry about this um, clean coal summit, for example, that's going to happen Monday. Uh, I think um, some people didn't understand that there is no such thing as clean coal. We want to show that time's up. It's not 5 to 12, it's 5 past 12 already. So it uh, doesn't mean that we can't act now, but we really have to do something now. Tomorrow we'll head into the climate change conference to see how the politicians are doing at cobbling together some sort of climate solution. So far on the streets of Warsaw, COP19 has generated a lot of buzz.